Hi all. Today we learn about probability distribution, which is a module in engineering mathematics 4. So before entering into the types of distribution, let's see the basic concepts of probability. So in general, if I ask you a question that what is the probability that it may rain today? Say you have two answers if it's for sure, if you know that it's going to rain, then in that case, the probability will be one because it's a sure event. And if it's a very dry day and if it's not going to rain in that case the probability will be zero so always the probability lies between zero and one so now let's see the type of event the first event we call it as an exhaustive event so event with all the various possibilities we call it as exhaustive event and the second one is mutually exclusive event what do you mean by that happening of one event prevent the simultaneous happening of other event. For example, if you pass the exam, definitely you're not going to fail. So in that case, we call it as a mutually exclusive event. And now coming to the proper definition of probability. That is, probability is number of favorable divided by total number of outcomes. So this is the proper definition of probability and the probability value lies between 0 and 1. And uh, coming to the addition theorem, here P of A or B is equal to P of A plus P of B. In this case, A and B are mutually exclusive event. Just now we saw what do you mean by mutually exclusive event. If the e events are mutually exclusive, then we can apply addition theorem. The next one is product theorem. P of A and B is equal to P of A into P of B. So here the condition is A and B should be independent event. So now coming to the definition of random variable. So in a random experiment, if a real variable is associated with every outcome, then it is called as a random variable. Now, um, if you see this example, two coins are tossed, then what are the total possible outcomes? Head, 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 tail, tail, head and tail, tail. These are the four possible outcomes. Here I am denoting the random variable x as the number of heads in the outcome. So here if you see two heads are there, so I have written two. Here one head is there, so I have written one. So here also only one head, so one. Here two tails, there is no head, so I have written zero. So if you write the range of x, what are the values we have? Zero, one and two. So now there are the two types of random variable. The first one is a discrete random variable. If the random variable takes finite or countably finite number of values, we call it as a discrete. For example, I'm throwing a die. So what are the uh, possible outcomes? The numbers on the phases, right? So it's like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here it is finite and countable. So we call it as a discrete random variable. And the second one is continuous random variable. Here the random variable x takes an interval of real numbers. So some examples are observing the weight of an article, length, all these things. The values will be in the interval. So we call it as a continuous. In other way, if it is not discrete, it's going to be continuous. Now let's see. Probability function. Here we are going to see the discrete version. So I'm saying that if for each value of x, the random variable x, we assign a real number p of xi. That is a probability such that p of xi is greater than or equal to 0 and summation of p of xi should be 1. So the same example if we take a coin is tossed twice. Okay. So a random variable x represents the number of heads turning. Same thing. So what are the possible outcomes? Head, 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 tail, tail, head and tail, tail. So here the corresponding random variables just now we saw 2, 1, 1, 0. So if we see the probability of each one, what is the probability of getting two heads? There is only one option out of four. What is the definition of probability? Favorable by total. Total we have four and we have one two head option. So probability is one by four. Here head tail. There is only one head tail. So again the probability is one by four. What is the probability of getting tail head? Again only one option out of four. The last probability, probability of tail tail is again 1 by 4. So now we are going to find the probability for each. So first one P of X is equal to 0. It means no head. So we have only one option that is P of TT. 
and this probability we got it as 1 by 4 and the second one is when x is equal to 1 that is if we get only one head only one head means we have two options head tail and tail head so we have two probabilities associated with that so i am writing p of ht union th that is equal to p of ht plus p of th what is the probability 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 so we have 1 by 2 same way p of x is equal to 2 it means two heads correct so out of these four options we have only these two heads only one option is there so p of hh that is equal to and this probability we got it as 1 by 4 so this is how we are assigning probability for the random variable x so uh, if we see the discrete probability distribution for x so 0 1 and 2 just now we calculated the probability that is 1 by 4 1 by 2 and 1 by 4 if we see each value is greater than or equal to 0 and if you add all the 3 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 we are getting 1 and uh, if they asked to find the mean then the mean formula is summation of xi into p of xi so 0 into 1 by 4 plus 1 into 1 by 2 plus 2 into 1 by 4 this is the formula for mean we have applied that and we got the answer and again the formula for variation variance is summation x minus mu the whole square into p of xi that is 0 minus mu just now we got it as 1 0 minus 1 the whole square into the corresponding probability 1 minus 1 the whole square into the corresponding probability 1 by 2 plus 2 minus 1 the whole square into its probability 1 by 4 that we call it as variance now let's see this example a random variable x has the following probability function for various values of x this is a VTU question so here they have given the values of x and the corresponding probability they are asking us to find k and these probabilities also we have to write the probability distribution so if given the probability function what are the two conditions each probability will be greater than or equal to 0 and their summation will be equal to 1 these are the two hints we have so this summation of all these probability is going to be 1 so I am going to write 0 plus k plus 3k plus 2k plus 3k plus k square plus 2k square plus 7k square plus k these values are equal to 1 if I simplify this I am getting a quadratic equation what is this 10k square plus 9k minus 1 is equal to 0 if I solve this quadratic equation I will get two roots correct so k as 1 by 10 or k as minus 1 you can plug in these uh, quadratic equation calculator and you can get the roots so one root is positive one root is negative correct here the negative value is not possible because Condition 1 is each value should be greater than 0. So k is equal to minus 1 is not possible. So the only possible option is k is equal to 1 by 10. So we fix the value of k as 1 by 10. Now we have to find these probabilities. I've got k as 1 by 10 and I have replaced the value. If you see the question, the question in this place k will be there. And here 2k. So 2 into 1 by 10 that is 1 by 5. And we've just replace the value of k. And I have written this. And now we have to find the probability of x less than 6. If it is x less than 6, then strictly less than 6. So 6 is not included. So what are the probabilities? Probability of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Till here we will take. So what are the answers? 1 by 10 plus, of course, 0 is there. 0 plus 1 by 10 plus 1 by 5. 1 by 5 plus 3 by 10 plus 1 by 100. So, if I add all these things, I will get probability of x less than 6. Next one is probability of x greater than or equal to 6. So, here what you will do? 6 is included and after 6 we have only 7. So, we are writing probability of 6 plus probability of 7. What are these values? 1 by 50 plus 17 by 100. I have written this. And the next one is 3 strictly less than x less than or equal to 6. So, it means I am not going to include 3 but I will include 6. So after 3 we have 4, 5 and 6. So we are going to add the corresponding probability. 3 by 10 plus 1 by 100 plus 1 by 50. So we got this. So we got the corresponding probability distribution that satisfies the given condition. So today we have learnt about basic definition of probability and discrete version of probability distribution.